The announcement of an agreement on the basic lines of the preferred FTT ahead of the European elections would also send a strong signal to citizens, the large majority being in favor of this project. Moreover, the rights of the non-participating member states need to be fully respected. I cannot but repeat that, as it is clearly the case with the Commission's proposal, the final design of the tax and the enhanced cooperation shall not hinder these rights. If um, European nations uh, around this table want to proceed with a uh, financial transaction tax uh, that uh, only has an impact in their uh, area, in their economy, then that is their business. Um, our view has been that a, uh, the financial transaction tax uh, that people have talked about is not a tax on bankers, uh, as uh, people present it as. It's a tax on jobs, it's a tax on investment, it's a tax on people's pensions and on pensioners. And that's why the United Kingdom does not want to be part of it, as do uh, a majority, nor do a majority of um, uh, nations represented around this uh, table. It's very difficult to see um, the logic of this proposal. Uh, you could argue that there are European countries that need tax increases and tax revenues, but then one should start with the tax bases that are, are least harmful for the economy. It is very hard to see uh, what is actually going on, how this will affect uh, both participating and non-participating countries, and that is, of course, uh, not satisfactory. This is highly relevant for any member state. The two principles that the Commission are basing their proposal on, um, issuer and, um, and, and the other uh, principle, makes it as relevant for us as it, as it does for the participating member states. Obviously, we need to be concerned about uh, putting down a base of a strong and sustainable growth for the future for all of our countries whilst carrying out courageous, deep structural reforms, but also we need to be concerned to avoid what uh, caused our distress in 2008 and 2009 should not cause it again. But I think it's important also within enhanced cooperation to show that Europe is capable of moving forward, it is capable of turning ideas, which have been around for a long time after all, into acts, into decisions. I, I like transparent processes and procedures. So. Uh, at least in the case of the Spanish delegation, we are totally open to take the considerations, uh, the implications, uh, uh, you know, all the, the remarks made by non-participating countries, because we think that, uh, you know, we do not want to, 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 be, uh, to create an instrument that is going to be harmful for, for, for anybody. What we want to do is to have a rational tax that puts order in the, in the, in the financial markets. We have nothing decided only we have agreed on a political minimum position to go on. And of course, we all agreed, our colleague from Malta said yesterday again and again, we need a strong examination by legal service. No one wants to offend any one of, of you. Therefore, the reaction has been a little bit, maybe for the cameras, to be very frank. Uh, the impression I get is that you have found a very, very small common ground uh, which is still very vague on the basis for the tax, when it will actually take place, on what products, etc. Uh, but you have decided we must come out with something before the elections. That, that, that's fine, but please respect also the colleagues. We'd like to know a little more, uh, to know what's going to happen. Some colleagues will say we need to know more because I want to know the negative effects on my economy. I would like to know more that might, maybe even there is a possibility for us to join. It's just the political point that the willingness to make the financial sector pay is not in question. The question is how and how that can be handled when some uh, have the willingness to go forward uh, with enhanced cooperation on this precise way of taxing, which can be, I think, highly debated whether it's more, more efficient, I think not, than the way that we are doing it in Denmark and in some other countries.